Recent data has shown us that magma is moving around the Yellowstone system. Researchers who've been keeping a close eye on the Yellowstone data have said that over the past few days, there's been a lot of movement around the park in regards to magma flow. Ground fractures opening up, and local residents have reported an increase in earthquakes. One of the most recent discoveries that surprised many people is that of the large bulge found within the park, with amateur researchers saying that there's a big pocket that's possibly filling up with magma. Those who often watch the live cams have said they've picked up on the fact that a dome-shaped structure has appeared beneath the park, and in order to test this they've collected several photographs from a few months back, and compared them to a few days ago, saying that it clearly shows that something big is brewing beneath the park. After the photographs made the rounds on social media, people started to give their opinions on what it showed, with one user saying the following, Something big is pushing the landslide up at Yellowstone. You can clearly see that there's a big difference within the last few months. The land is being pushed outwards by something. While another person said this, I've been watching these updates for a while now, and although earthquakes hitting Yellowstone are not uncommon, as the park gets hit by several swarms a year, something I will say is that there does seem to be more than normal, and that there's definitely a huge bulge that's increasing in size at Yellowstone. One local who lives close to the park said the following, You can definitely feel movement where I am. In fact, over the last few weeks myself, along with my neighbour, have been feeling the earthquakes that's been hitting Yellowstone. But recently there's been big jerks all around the park. Some big earthquakes are hitting this region, and I'm a little worried about the big dome that's forming beneath the park. I'm hoping this is normal, but as of right now it hasn't been discussed by scientists or officials working at the park, so not sure if I need to be making plans to get out. The reason that people are talking about this dome is because it's reminded some of the one that appeared on Mount St. Helens, and this was back in 1980. This bulge developed on the north side of Mount St. Helens, as magma was pushed up within the peak. Local residents and others who've seen the images are hoping that something similar won't happen, and hope that magma isn't filling up this region. Others have theorised that the earthquakes that are hitting Yellowstone are starting to take their toll, and that the chamber of Yellowstone is starting to become brittle, with there being an increase in gas outlets at the surface. The United States Geological Survey is still not covering these topics, with the data showing that the Yellowstone Lake is also showing signs of being hit by swarms of earthquakes. Interestingly, a man who monitors this data has said that it's not right that some of the data has gone missing, and that he thinks it's wrong that the United States Geological Survey is not updating people about what's going on within the park, and that he's decided he's going to take this matter to Congress and complain. One of the reasons he's given is that the people deserve the right to know what's happening, and that it's obvious that certain data is being covered up. Others followed on from this and said that it's worrying that they haven't mentioned the dome that appears to be increasing in size beneath Yellowstone, saying that even if this is normal they should be coming forward and saying this to the people, but because they haven't acknowledged this they've said that people are starting to worry. Not everyone though is concerned about the increased activity at Yellowstone, with them saying that for years swarms of earthquakes have been hitting the region, and that nothing ever happens, further saying that land masses around Yellowstone increase and decrease in size every year, and this is because of a number of different possibilities. Some people are concerned though because the United States Geological Survey normally tells people about these changes, but at the moment they've been quiet on these updates. If Yellowstone did erupt, people would also need to survive the after effects. Researchers found that after the eruption of a supervolcano, it's often been recorded that there tends to be a massive cooling event that occurs around the world. This is due to the fact that the ejection of a large amount of volcanic ash causes a global darkness event, preventing the planet from sufficiently warming up, and causing a global ice age. This appears to have been the case a mere 100,000 years ago, 
when the Toba super eruption occurred and nearly drove humanity to extinction. Prior to this event, there was an estimated 1 million human population. After the event took place, there was only 11,000 humans left, of which caused a massive bottleneck effect that allows us to see the time in which such an event took place. Additionally, this rapid death count occurred when the Toba super eruption caused a global blackout that lasted for more than 10 years. During this time, a massive ice age occurred and an atmospheric cooling event that lasted for another 1,000 years. Given these calculations, it's expected that if the Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt, the amount of ash spewed would travel through the atmosphere and block out the sun from all around the world, leading to a modern day ice age that would prevent the sun from being seen for six to seven years, creating an endless darkness for all life on Earth and record low temperatures never been recorded. Some scientists have said we could have less than two weeks to act before an eruption could occur, saying that after the warning signs were detected, there's not much we could do to prepare for an event like this. Worryingly, in the past, several of these warning signs were detected around the park. These included seismic activity increasing and an increase of gas outlets at the surface. Not only this, but researchers working at the park have said that new erupting vents and surface fractures have started opening. So what do you make of the dome uplift that has been detected beneath Yellowstone? Do you think this is something we should worry about? And what do you think is causing this? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.